wanted for robbery and murder. Sheriff Hayes. <laughs> Pablo, me, wanted for robbery, murder. How little these men know of Pablo. Eh, Lopez? You're right, Pablo. But it's too dangerous. Why don't you surrender? I will not surrender, Lopez. Not until I find the one man I am looking for, no? Yes, Pablo. Vamos! Dad, if you don't stop worrying so much about this Pablo, you'll be down sick. Ruth, I can't figure the thing out. Why my men can't get him? I've laid traps, and while I wait for him to walk into them, he pulls a raid a mile away and vanishes into the air. It beats me. You're doing the best you can, and so are the men. You'll get him in time. Howdy, Crane. Hello, Sheriff. Hope we're not intruding. Not at all. Mr. Crane, Ed. This is Jim Bannister, new man here. He bought the Tom Watts place upon the ridge after it was raided. Glad to know you, Bannister. Likewise, Mr. Crane. Sheriff Hayes has told me a lot of nice things about you and uh, your daughter. If you gentlemen don't mind, I, I think I'll ride out to the house and leave you to talk. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, honey. Ed, the Tolliver place was raided last night. Cattle driven off, house burned down. Pablo? No one else and left his usual calling card. Hmm. Mexican silver. Always leaves a piece of hammered silver after every raid. That's Pablo, all right. You seem to know Pablo pretty well. No, only uh, I've heard he was very fond of odd silver pieces. Bannister offered to buy the land of the victims at a fair price. Pablo doesn't scare you much, huh? No, Mr. Crane. But the sooner we're rid of him, the better. Something's got to be done. If this keeps up, every man in the valley will be driven out. There won't be enough of men left to vote me into office. There won't be any office, Sheriff. For you or me either if we don't clear this thing up and quickly. That's ah, a beautiful country, Shorty. I have to admit these Joshua trees are kind of nice. You call them Joshua trees, I call them soapweed. Just plain old soapweed. I don't like them either. Well, naturally, I wouldn't expect you to like anything that looked, tasted, or smelled like soap. Which way to range your headquarters? Well, I don't know, but... It's right over to that ranch house and ask. We better be careful. Crane might be in the house. No, he ain't. He and his daughter are down at headquarters. Well, this will help to keep that hombre and his rangers busy while we take care of those other jobs. Look! Strangers. Maybe the law. Better get out of here fast. There's liable to be trouble. Oh, no, there won't. Come on. I guess somebody tried to start a bonfire. We got here just in time. Yeah. Guess that's why they took a shot at us. What are you doing there? Well, speak up. Who are you? Why are you on my ranch? Well, ma'am, my partner here, he likes this Cinco country so well that I thought I'd stop and let him enjoy it for a while. 
And what did you and him doing with those firebrands? Oh, these? Yes. Oh. Uh, well, you see, he's a fire eater. He wanted some practice. Do you expect me to believe that? No, ma'am, we don't. Get off my ranch and be quick about it. We will. But first, will you tell us how to find the ranger headquarters? Two miles down the south road. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Give yourselves up? No, ma'am. Adios, senorita. Regan. Tex Regan. On a few cattle. Try to keep my pal Shorty here out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you hail from, Tex? Mercedes. Down along the border. Work for myself, mostly. Along the border, huh? Yes, sir. Ever run across Pablo? No, sir. I've never met up with him. Why do you ask? Because there's a reward of $2,000. No, sir. Not me. My guns are not for hire. I came on a little matter of my own. Sheriff Hayes. In the past month or so, have you seen anything of a little stocky fella? About uh, 25, maybe? Good looking? With real bright red hair? Red hair? No, I can't say that I have. Who is he, Regan? A friend of mine. And I'm looking for him. Personal like. What's up? Is he wanted by the law? No, no. No, I was just curious to find him, that's all. Maybe Pablo could answer for the disappearance of your red-headed friend. How do you know he's disappeared? Well, uh, I, I was just thinking. You see, Pablo's been raiding this valley right and left. How do you know? Have you ever seen him do it? Well, the ranchers who've been driven off, and those who've uh, seen any of the killings know it was Pablo. And after every raid, we found a piece of Mexican silver, Tex. I see. He left it so as you know it was him. That's right. <laughs> well, you men seem to have a problem on your hands. And I've got one on mine. Captain Crane, do you mind if, uh, if Short and me camp here at headquarters for a while? Not at all. Make yourselves at home, Tex. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll be seeing you men again. Oh, uh, while you're drifting around, if you should learn anything about Pablo, it'll interest us. I'll do my best. Might interest me, too. Come on, Shorty. Hey, Shorty, you locate the bunkhouse. I'll be back. Where are you going? Just find us a place to bunk. Oh, oh, he's got me doing all the work around right here. Dad! Those two men you were talking to, who are they? Tex Regan and a pal of his from down along the border. Cattlemen, so they say. You're being fooled, Dad. I caught them in the act of burning down our ranch. Burning our ranch? <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, honey. No. I tell you, I did. You ask them and I'll prove it. Come on. Mr. Tex Regan, I'd like you to explain a few things to my dad. Your dad? It's my daughter, Ruth, Tex. We've already met. That's right. We have. Uh, now, what is it you want me to do? I'd like you to explain, if you can, what you and your friend were doing on our ranch. Oh. Well, I've already pleaded guilty to that. They're going to hang me in the morning. <laughs> Tex comes well recommended, Ruth. And you needn't worry. Very well, Father. But remember, I warned you. <laughs> She's a great girl, Tex. Always looking out for her dad. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Captain Crane, I'm looking for a place called Hidden Valley. Just north of here. The road goes through Bannister's Ranch. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
He's the fellow that was asking questions at headquarters. That's the same one that messed up the crane job. He mustn't get in here, Buck. Just a minute, you. I'll trouble you to head back, mister. You will? Why? Never mind the why. Just turn around and bamboos. You take a high hand in giving orders. This is open trail, and I have business at the other end. Well, the trail is closed. This is private property. Now, get going. All right. I will. your gun. Get down off that horse. his guns. We're taking him up to the house. Frankie, get your horse. The boys are bringing Tex Regan in. We can't do anything now. Crane and the sheriff probably know he's here. When he doesn't find what he's looking for, he'll leave. You better not see me here.
What's wrong, men? We told this fellow it was private property, but he wouldn't believe us. You have quite a reception committee, Mr. Bannister, I must say. They treat you rough, Regan? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. He's all right. Give him his guns. You can go, boys. This is a while, Regan. Thanks. Sit down. Thank you, sir. And you must have a valuable place here, Mr. Bannister. Keep it pretty well guarded. I have to. You see, Regan, with this fellow Pablo on the loose, I take every precaution. Oh, I understand. Well, he'd have a hard time getting in here. Maybe that's why he hasn't paid me a visit. Maybe. Oh, uh, tell me. Have you found any trace of your red-headed friend? No, I haven't. Only that he did show up in this community. And I think maybe I'll locate him. Well, if you keep looking, I'm sure you will. Well, you know the old saying, if at first you don't succeed, keep on looking till you do. <laughs> Mr. Bannister, you say this, uh, this Pablo never paid you a visit? Well, it uh, doesn't look like it, does it? No, no, it doesn't. Well, it's, uh, it's getting kind of late. So if you'll give me a pass through your no man's land, I'll be on my way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Regan, go ahead. Well, you do see the funny side of things, eh? Yes, sir, I, I think I do. You know, I've got a hunch you and I are going to do a little business together. Well, I, I'm always open for business. Why can't a moon keep on sailing whenever two hearts are one? Why must its glow begin paling when it has only Of romance are flying. You hear that song, Rigo? It is beautiful, no? Yes, Pablo. But you come here for a showdown with Captain Crane and the sheriff? Or to listen to this song? That is the song of Homeland. My Rosita, she loved that song. Shine on Mexicali. What do we do now, Pablo? There is no anger in my heart now. We come back some other time. Rigo, you stay here and watch. Si, senor. Vamos! Why do you sing a love song to me? You know what I think of you. Well, I can't quite explain it. I sing the way I feel. You're the strangest person. Do you like strange people? Yes. Well, it happened again. Pablo raided the Wilson place. How do you know it was Pablo? We chased him for several miles, but they got away. I'll call out my men. I'm afraid it'll be too late, Captain. They must have made a clean getaway by this time. Better try and pick up the trail in the morning. Well, I guess you're right. Get the horses ready, Shorty. Where are we going? We're taking a little trip. 
I think I can find Pablo. May take a little time, but we'll be back. Pablo, a man from Cinco is searching for you everywhere. I heard him tell the Capitan myself. Maybe this is the man I am looking for, no? Get the horse ready. We'll ride. And the men's search will be over. Vamos! Thanks, eh, senorita? Si, <laughs> and you too. It's have important, to keep, it'll have to keep. Now, thanks, folks. I'm glad you liked it. Now, I've got another surprise for you. I've asked my friend Tex Regan to sing Rhythm of the Rio Grande. Give me that bull fiddle. Caballero I hear sing before, no? He is the one who look for you. I will get him. Come on, Lopez. Will you come with me, senor? Please. Is there a 
choice? No. Vamos. Man. Didn't know the song was that bad. Hey, Tex! You have been looking for me, senor. So you're Pablo, huh? I am, senor. We cannot talk here. So, you will come with me quietly, please. No? All right. Come. Tex! That's what I've been trying to tell you, Tex. And you come with me. All right. I'll go. And so, my friend, when I hear you look for me, I know why. Of this. Well, I never heard of that. But Pablo, he think of everything. You do not get Pablo, because Pablo, he get you, my friend. I like for to hear you sing. So I bring you here to sing your song for me, no? Rigo, la guitarra! You know, Pablo, you can't be as bad as people say. Anyone that lacks uh, music, songs, has a heart. Pablo has the big heart. That's why he does not kill you now. Toma. You know, Pablo, I always figured that maybe our trails would cross. So I made up a little song just for you. I think you like it. <laughs> it is much better for you, I do, senor. Because when Pablo does not like something, uh, enough of this. Bueno, you play, senor. In old Tijuana, a man without honor spread terror all over the plains. He got such a thrill in the men that he killed and bragged of his ill-gotten gains. Now he is so gentle and so sentimental, the girls fall for him at one glance. I'm glad to see that he thinks well of me, and maybe he'll give me a chance. Pablo the Mexican bandit, a tough hombre I must admit. He stole, I am sure, just to give to the poor. Pablo the Mexican bandit. One day at a bullfight, old Pablo thought he might go in there and show off his stuff. The mad bull was wise and he soon realized that Pablo was just full of bluff. As Pablo then faced him, the old bull did chase him where Pablo was tattered and torn. We all heard a cry as poor Pablo went by with his pants hanging on the bull's horn. Pablo the Mexican bandit, a tough hombre I must admit. He would fight anything but a bull in the ring. Pablo the Mexican bandit. In old Mexicali, he walked up an alley and stepped into Pedro's cafe. He drank up his fill, wouldn't settle his bill, but next day he came back to pay. Now someday he'll get it and he won't forget it, they'll hang him up high on a tree. But Pablo is strong and it wouldn't be long that he'd break the rope and get free. Pablo the Mexican bandit, a tough hombre I must admit, I'd kill a guy at the blink of an eye. Pablo the Mexican bandit, you know, that is very good song, so I do not kill you tonight. No? No. I kill you tomorrow morning. Buenas noches. Ah, buenos dias, señores. Buenos dias. Aye. Sit down. I hope you sleep well. Some coffee? Thank you. You know, Senor Tex, I am not going to kill you. No. I am going to kill him instead. Oh, he's all right, Pablo. He's my amigo. That's right, Pablo. Tex and me is friends. It is enough for me. Now I know I kill you. Hey, Pablo! That's my saddle. Oh, senor. 
In all my life, I never see so much silver wasted. Say, I hear your hobby is collecting silver pieces. See, would you like to see some of my collection? Yes, I would. Come with me. Quite a hard out you got here. Si, senor. We look long time for this place. They can send the whole army after me and my men, and they would never find us. <laughs> Mire, senor. There's an odd piece. Are there any more like it? One piece, senor. Just one piece. Where is it? That's what I have wished to know for two years. It was uh, stolen. Well, that's too bad, losing something that you cherish so much. I lost something greater, my friend. My Rosita. Rosita? My sister. She died of a broken heart when the man she loved deserted her. Who is this man, Pablo? He changed names many times, senor. I suppose so. But these raids on the ranchers in Cinco Valley. Why, Pablo? Senor Tex, when a man has a bad reputation, he's charged up with everything. I do not raid the valley. Someone wished to blame Pablo. I believe you. And I think I can clear you, Pablo. I also think I can lead you to the man you're looking for. Quick, we go. Uh, just a minute, Pablo. I have a little plan. First, I want to change your hideout. Si, senor Tex. What you say, I do. All right. On the Crane Ranch near Cinco, there's a place something like this. Then you'll be closer to me when I need you, see? Saddle the horses, pronto. We go. Just below here is the Crane Ranch. Over that ridge is the Ranger headquarters. So you see, you're right close to action. We well, stumbled on Pablo's hideout. And that's Regan with him. Come on, let's get out of here. Si, senor Tex. This is fine place, but now what we do? Well, I've got to do a little investigating. Alone. Shorty, go saddle the horses. Wait a minute. How do Pablo know this is not a trick? You must believe me, Pablo. You've got to trust me. I will trust you. But to be sure you come back and alone, I keep him here, no? You can't leave me here, Tex. I won't be a party to such a deal. You stay, no? Yes. Yes, I like it here. Well, hurry back, will you, Tex? I thought you said you liked it here. Yeah. Pablo, you can't make me stay. I'm going with Tex. You stay, no? Yes. I remember, Pablo. If I'm not back by tomorrow night, I want you to do exactly as Shorty says. We're in. He knows where to come. Say, Pablo, in all of your travels, did you ever run across a good-looking young fella with bright red hair? No, senor. No red head.
Well, we located Pablo's hideout up in Eagle's Nest. And that Tex Regan is a pal of his. Are you sure? I warned you to handle that bird. Now we're in for something. Well, since we know where Pablo is, we'll get Crane and the Rangers to take him. Pablo need never see me. What about Regan? I'll take care of him. Captain Crane, you'd better gather your men together. Have you run on or something, Tex? I think so. I'm not sure of it yet, but I want you to be ready in case I need help. It is good that you follow that, Tex. Here the La Cross Pablo. Vamos! Well, Mr. Regan, or whatever your real name is, get your answer ready for this one. Dad, arrest this man. He's working with Pablo. Now, look here, Ruth. I've got too many things on my mind to be listening to your wild ideas. Please. You're being fooled, Dad. I tell you, I saw him talking with Pablo. Ask him. <laughs> How about it, Tex? Captain? If the lady says she saw me with Pablo, she must be right. Well, are you going to arrest him? He confessed. Yes, my dear. I intend doing just that. I'll see you tonight at dinner. And Ruth, keep out. It's not good for you. <laughs> you know, Tex, women are wonderful. But when they try to run a man's job, they sure can mix things up. Yeah. They are wonderful. Huh? Oh, uh, I'd better be going, Captain Crane. You stand ready. Dad, you didn't arrest him. He's leaving. Ruth, will you please let me run this job? All right, Dad, but if you don't listen to me, you won't have a job. Adios, senorita. Hey, Regan. I want you. Get out off of that horse. Your little game's up. Game, Sheriff? Spying for Pablo. You're under arrest. Ransom. Take his guns. I guess Ruth is right, Tex. Captain Crane. I've got to talk to you, but I can't talk here. It'll have to keep until I bring Pablo in. That won't take long. Buck here knows the hideout. You've got him dead right, Captain. We saw him with Pablo in the gang. Ransom, lock him up. This way. The rest of you men, saddle up. Quick. I'll, I'll ride into town for extra men. I'll go along, Sheriff. Sit down. One of Pablo's men, Jim. Have you been burning any more ranches? Not lately. Pablo, Tex Lyons, Peter across you. The Rangers are coming. 
tax wouldn't double cross you. You, senor, shut up! Uh, not yet, Rigo. I get tax, and then we kill both together, no? The Rangers come, Pablo. A los caballos, pronto! Pablo! We take this one along. Vamos! Muchachos, out the bad trail! This was Pablo's camp. He must have known we were coming. He's a tough one to catch. We'll keep on his trail. Well, I'll head back and get the sheriff. Right. Boys, follow me. See, Buck went with Captain Crane and the Rangers to get Pablo. Where's Tex Regan? Ransom has him locked up in the barracks. Good work. Wouldn't have been so healthy if Pablo caught up to you for what you did to his sister. My days of hiding from Pablo are about over. And we won't have to worry much more about Tex Regan either. We'll take care of him the same as that red-headed friend of his. Wouldn't be too sure of that, Bannister. Keep your hand away from those guns. Now, you were wrong, Mr. Bannister. And your little game is about ended. Now, wait a minute, Regan. I'll double Pablo's payoff and make it worthwhile. I'll pay plenty. I'm sure you will. To the law this time. All right, boys, spread out. is overdue. He wanted us to meet him at the Bannister Ranch. Good, we go. We get these tags and you too, my friend. Oye, Lopez, don't forget to remind me I killed this short fellow too, no? Si, Pablo, si. You're gonna find out Texas probably fighting a battle for you right now, Pablo. Get a torch and burn him out!
You saved me, Senor Tex, and I was trying to kill you. Is that the man you've been looking for? Si, Senor. You robbed me of the greatest pleasures of my whole life. I was wanting for to kill this fellow myself, personal. But thank you very much. How did you know him? Are you missing silver piece, Pablo? There's a table on the front porch. You'll find it there. Gracias, señor, gracias. You two are under arrest. I'm afraid you're wrong, Captain Crane. Bannister's the man you wanted. And that'll take a lot of explaining. Well, Ransom just confessed to Bannister's whole scheme. You see, Captain, when Bannister learned that this whole valley was a gold mine, he figured to frighten the ranchers away so he could get their land for practically nothing. Those that wouldn't sell, he murdered. How did you know, Tex? My red-headed friend. He's the one that discovered gold here, wrote me about it. Bannister also finished him. And Pablo wasn't in on this? No, sir. Bannister blamed it on Pablo. Si, senor. Well, Tex, I guess that just about winds up my case. And yours is just starting. Bring on the saddle, Shorty. I, uh, I suppose now you'll be traveling on? No, no, no. Say, if I tell you something, Will you promise not to tell a soul? I promise. I've just bought a ranch here. The one Bannister had. Why? Oh. Sentimental.